if you agree or if you disagree, as possibly the best pound for pound fighter in the sport. Look who's on their grind now. Brand new DVD, it's our time now. Give it to the world that yeah, we gon' shine now. Who the best boxers? We gon' find out. We work so hard that we take no timeouts. Who's undefeated? Who just got knocked out? This is boxing with a slash. But as of right now, uh, my main my main focus is Victor Ortiz. You know, he's also a southpaw that's deadly with a lot of knockout power, and um, he's hungry. What else can I say? He's hungry. So you know, like I said before, we take um, one day at a time. Uh, I mean, I told the fans before, like I told everybody when I was up on the podium today, we could have been made to pay, many Pacquiao fight happen. Everybody could have been made to fight happen. But I'm not, I never said that many Pacquiao was cheating. That never came out of my mouth. I said there's cheating that's going on in the sport of boxing. I mean, and not, I mean, not just in the sport of boxing, but sports, period. I mean, whether it's track and field, NBA basketball, NFL, and um, I'm in the country, I'm in America, and this is the country that I represented in the 96 Olympic Games, the red, white, and blue. So my country, my country should stand behind me and say, you know what, a guy that's from another country, he should take the test. We support you. That's good, that's good. I'm saying that. They should overlook me. Because there's only one problem there. Um, I don't see how Floyd's gonna fight May uh, Pacquiao when I'm fighting Pacquiao. You see that? That's, that's a problem. Man. So I can't, you know, I can't overlook Victor Ortiz. You know, I don't. You know, I think I'm one hell of a fighter. I think I, I gave the sport of boxing some hell of a fighters. And, you know, it's not for me to judge Manny Pacquiao for what he has done for the sport and what he has not done for the sport. And my job is to go out there and perform well for the fans. And if the fans want the Manny Pacquiao fight, that's what we want to give them. You know, but Victor Ortiz, it was okay for Victor Ortiz and Shane Mosley to step up and say, you know what, Floyd Mayweather, since you're taking the test, we're taking the test, and we can make the fight happen. And the same thing with Manny Pacquiao, we can make the fight happen. You know, we, uh, they know what it takes as well as I know what it takes. But, but my main focus right now is Victor Ortiz. You can't overlook a guy, because in the past, guys, got champions have, have overlooked certain guys and they came up short. No different from when Zab Judah faced Baltimore. He overlooked Baltimore and he came up short. You know, he, I mean, you know, Zab Judah came up short overlooking Baltimore. So I don't want to overlook Victor Ortiz. He's a tough young champion. He's 10 years younger than me. So I got to go out there and be at my best. If I'm gonna face a boxer, the only thing I'm saying is I'm trying to clean the sport up. You know, it's so crazy that, you know, in the sport of boxing, they say, oh, Floyd Mayweather is scared and he's a coward. But then when you go, you know, you go look at the, you go look at the YouTube videos because, you know, my son and my daughters, both of my boys and both of my daughters are always going to YouTube and pulling my videos up, you know, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of hits, millions of hits. And I say it's so crazy that you see the comments saying, oh, he's a coward, he's scared. But I say, you sit right here and watch the video for eight or nine minutes just to call a guy a coward. I say it's crazy. But, you know, my main thing is, is about being positive and giving the fans and the media what they want to see, the exciting boxing, you know. And it's, it, it don't stop with Victor Ortiz. I plan on, I, I, I'm going to continue to fight, fight the best that they got out there, the young, strong champions. All right, you're Every time I come to a press conference, it's so crazy. You know, when me and a guy come face to face, you know, you see them, they look so much bigger than me. The reason why is because I'm always at 147. I walk around at 147. And so it's about having discipline, uh, not just 10 to 8 weeks before the fight, but having discipline, you know, where you're not active. That's why I tell every fighter, you know, four, four fighters face me. And it, this just don't go for just one fighter, all fighters. I, I, I have to take the test, as well as any opponent that I fight have to take the test. Because it's not just cheating in, in my sport, but it's, it's cheating in, in numerous sports, and in, in a lot of sports. And with me being the face of boxing, and me being the face of HBO, my job is to clean the sport of boxing up, just to show the world that my sport is a clean sport. Victor Ortiz, he's, he's, a, he's a good fighter, you know, but the ultimate goal is to become a great fighter. To become a great fighter, you have to beat a, a ton of good fighters. So he's um, he's a hell of a fighter, S strong. I mean, he's a guy that you can see. He, I mean, he take a, he, he get knocked down, he hop right back up and knock his opponent down. So, you know, my main thing is to stay focused and be on my A game. If you agree or if you disagree, that's possibly the best pound for pound fighter in the sport.